Kermit the Frog here, and I've come to tell you a really fine, fantastic story. It's called The Frog Prince. The story began one summer morning. You see, I was sitting by this stone well in a forest near an old castle. It's a sunny, green, and grassy kind of place, just what frogs like. And on this particular morning, the bees were buzzing, the birds were soaring, and the frogs were doing what we do best, nothing. I was just sitting around on the edge of the well saying hi to my friends. Hi, Hector. Hi, Kay. Hi, Gawain. Hi. Say, here's a frog I've never seen, and he's the smallest frog I ever saw. Hey, little fella, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, excuse me. I, I didn't mean to trespass. Oh, well, now, wait now. You're not trespassing. There's always room for one more frog in the forest, especially one your size. Uh, by the way, uh, my name is Kermit. And my name is Gawain. I'm uh, Garth. And I'm Kay. I'm pleased to meet you. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they call me Sir Robin, the Brave. <laughs> Sir Robin the Brave? That's kind of a weird name for a frog, isn't it, fellow? Is it? I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't been a frog long. How's that again? I mean, actually, I, I'm not a frog at all. Uh, listen, uh, there isn't much of you, but what there is seems to be all frog. Oh, I look like a frog. That's because I've been enchanted by a wicked witch. Do tell. I am really a prince. <laughs> oh, but, but it's true. Oh, you've got to believe me. They call me Sir Robin the Brave. And history one day will rave. I'm valiant and daring and noble of bearing. Courageous and gallant, a mountain of talent. No wonder folks curtsy and wave. I'm Robin, Sir Robin, the brave. Uh, you're also a frog. Well, yes, but I can explain that. My tale is sad, but I will try to tell it all. Before I cried, t'was long ago and far away, a cold and cheerless winter day. And in my search for deeds to do, to show my bravery through and through, I chanced upon a forest glen, and there I met an ogre. Aha! His teeth were long, I fear to tell. With muscles strong and dreadful smell, he looked at me, he wished me dead. I looked at him, and then I said, They call me Sir Robin the Brave. And history one day will rave. I'm valiant and daring and noble of bearing, courageous and gallant, a mountain of talent. No wonder folks curtsy and wave. I'm Robin, Sir Robin, the brave. With sword in hand, I circle round. He came toward me with mighty bound. But as he charged, I slipped away. He turned to strike. I did not stay. With fearful thrust, I forced him back and readied for the last attack. I raised my sword for one great lunge, and suddenly, it happened. <laughs> a wretched witch, a ghastly hag with eyes of pitch and dress of rag. She laughed at me and bared a fang. I smiled at her and bravely sang. They call me Sir Robin the Brave, and history one day will rave. You're valiant and daring, and noble and bearing, but wait till I'm through, sir. A prince, a horn on you, sir. I'll make you a stone or a log, or maybe Sir Robin the Frog! <laughs> she, she did. She changed me into a frog. Ha oh, ha! Oh. Say, that worked pretty well. Mercy, makes a cute little frog, doesn't he? Oh no, here comes the ogre again. Oh yes, nice froggy frog. Ha <laughs> ha No princey prince now. No, sweetums, he's not a prince anymore. And not even I could change him back. Oh, don't look so worried, little froggy. There's still a way you can break the spell. I mean, 
she just might happen to meet a princess, and, and, and she just might befriend you and take you to live in a palace, and someday she just might kiss you, then you'll be a prince again. <laughs> it doesn't seem so likely, though, does it? <laughs> oh, froggy frog, nice. Cute froggy frog. Sweetums, you old bunnykins, do you like the froggy? Oh, yes, yes, bunnykins like frog. Why don't you keep him? He could be your pet, or your friend, your breakfast. That too, yes, here, take him. Don't you touch me. I'll get you, you witch. Ah, get off, get out of my hair, you wretch. I'd love to get out of your hair. Aww, froggy frog, hop, hop, bye-bye. Curses! Where's that ugly little frog gone to? When I find a wretch, he'll be my ogre's breakfast for sure. I'm valiant and daring and noble of bearing. Courageous and gallant, a mountain of talent, but no one will curtsy or wave. For now, I'm Sir Robin, the frog. <sniffs> well, that's about it, Kermit. Now you know the whole terrible truth. Ooh, that's quite a story. I mean, it's really touching. Thank you. Yeah, we frogs just love fairy tales. <laughs> but I... Oh, now, come on, you guys. Now, don't make fun of the poor little guy. Oh, now, just, just go away and stop picking on him. Thank you, Kermit. At least you believe me. Hmm? Believe you? Uh, well, Robin, uh, let's just say that I'm happy to welcome you to the old well. How about you and me going for a swim? Uh, no thanks. What do you mean, no thanks? I, I mean... I'm not in the mood for a swim. Hey, don't push me. Oh, what do you mean you're not in the mood for a swim? Eek. I mean, I can't swim. A frog who can't swim? Well, don't worry, Robin. I'll save you. So Robin the frog came to live in the forest. And I decided that whether he was a frog or whether he was a prince, there was one thing he needed, swimming lessons. No, no, you gotta learn to kick. One, two, three, four. No, not like that. <clears throat> there. Was I swimming that time? Well, not really. No. But at least I've learned to dog paddle. A frog does not dog paddle. But I told you, Kermit, I'm not a frog. I'm a prince. And somehow, I must meet a princess. What's that? That's a fanfare from the castle. Castle? Where? Oh, right behind that wall. The king and the princess live there. Princess? Shh! The king is about to speak to the townspeople. He's right over there on that balcony. If you listen, you can hear the Duke of Featherstone introducing him. It gives me the greatest pleasure to herewith introduce our noble, fearless, kindly ruler, King Rupert II. Large cheer. <clears throat> Thank you, my loyal subjects. Friendly applause. Your friendly applause touches me deeply. You know, I sometimes think that the reason a king's chair is called a throne is because of all the compliments people keep throwing. That's a little joker. Uh, polite chuckles. <laughs> polite chuckles? Uh, building to riotous laughter. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh... <clears throat> Speaking of coronations, Today is the Princess Melora's 19th birthday. Therefore, at sunset tonight, I will retire as your king, and my daughter Melora will become your queen. Delighted cheering. We can hardly believe it. There really is a princess. 
Yeah, you bet. It sounds like she'll soon be a queen. Oh, I can hardly wait to be kissed by her. That never happened. Princesses don't like frogs much. Besides, this particular princess is living under a terrible enchantment. I'm sorry to hear that, but I must befriend her anyway. Otherwise, I'll be a frog forever. And what exactly is wrong with being a frog? Oh, well... You're a good I... sort, Robin. But I wish you'd be careful about what you say about frogs. Right, guys? Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, remember, if you were a prince, there'd be certain things you'd have to do. Like, live indoors. Yeah. And sleep in a bed. Yeah. And wear clothes. Yeah, oh, Kermit, do you have to talk about it? But you've avoided all that. You're a frog, and you've got it all. The lily pad, the stagnant water, and the old quagmire. Sing out for the swamp and sing out for the ooze. The life of a frog is the life you should choose. Sing, sing out, out for the mud and sing, sing out for the bog. It's ever so jolly just being a frog. Frog, 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 frog. We love the old mud hole we sit and we soak. The feeling's so good that we just gotta croak. The muck and the mire, the slosh and the slime. Oh. All the reasons a frog has a wonderful time. Time, 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 time. time. It's ever so jolly just being a frog. Mm -hmm. Oh, what could compare to a day in the swamp? The snakes and the spiders, the cold and the dark. I'm fond of the pond, be it appetite or Mud in my blood. Mud, 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 mud. Sing out for the swamp and sing out for the ooze. The life of a frog is the life you should choose. Sing out for the mud and sing out for the bug. It's ever so jolly. That's what it's like to be a frog, Robin. You'll learn to love the pools and the lily pads, the swamps. And the princess. Uh, will you stop talking about the princess? Well, you know, she's not even green. Well, see for yourself. Here she comes now. <laughs> Is that really the princess? You bet. She comes here every day and plays with that golden ball she's carrying. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Look, here comes her father, the king. Shh. Ah, so here is the birthday, child. Oh, you're looking lovely this morning, Melora, my dear. She certainly is. What's that you're looking at, child? This pretty flower. Oh, what did you say, my dear? What did she say? I said this pretty flower. I, I can't understand you, child. Neither can I. Neither can anyone. I told you the princess is under an enchantment. Oh, yes. No one understands her because she says everything blackbirds. I mean backwards. Oh, how sad. Say it once more, daughter. I'm hitting seer, quinking quietly, and ooking lat this fritty plower. I'm sorry, dear. It's no use. Why don't you just show me the pretty flower instead? Oh, that's lovely. Just lovely. Melora, my dear, I just made the proclamation announcing that you will be the queen. Oh, I want to quee the bean. My dear, if it were up to me, you could quee all the beans you wanted to. Whatever that means. Oh, I wish you could speak properly. Who cast this awful spell on you anyway? Tant Aminella. I beg pardon? Tant Aminella. Tant Aminella. Ah, uh, never mind, Melora, dear. Tell me, have you seen your Aunt Taminella around? No. Well, it's not important. Have a nice morning, my dear. Well, there goes the king. Now's your chance. My chance? Sure. If you really think you're a prince, go ask the princess to kiss you. No, no, it doesn't work like that. She must befriend me, and I must live in the palace, and then she must kiss me. Okay, so go make friends. But she's a princess, and I'm a frog. I thought you were really a prince. Oh, yes, but... Shh, here she comes. So bow on me, growl on me, I'm all good tether all alone. Not Bye,
dropped my jaw. Poor kid. She dropped her ball. Oh, do not cry, princess. Sue had that. He did. Percy, a mog. Uh, yes, yes, a, fr a frog. Ooh, a frothful og. Frogs aren't awful. Honest, we're nice. Oh? Why, why, we can even rescue golden balls from the bottom of wells. Oh, really? Really. I will swim to the bottom and bring back the golden ball. Oh, what's thunderful? You can't swim to the bottom. You can't swim at all. I forgot. But now I'll have to try. You're crazy. You can't swim. But if I go back on my word, it will be unprincely. And if you drown, it'll be unfrogly. I don't care. I've got to try. Oh, Princess, if I swim to the bottom of the well and bring your ball back, will you be my friend and let me live at the palace? I must be frog a friend? Oh, please. I wouldn't be any trouble. Oh, very well. Then here I go. Don't forget to take a deep breath. I forgot. So Robin dived into the well and tried to rescue the princess's golden ball. Good luck. Good luck was what he needed because he dog paddled all the way down. Then he disappeared and he didn't come up. Then he didn't come up until all at once he came up. Oh, how about that? The little guy made it. Uh, here, here, here's your ball. And that's how Robin earned the friendship of the princess. Melora picked him up carefully and put him in her basket. And they were just about to leave for the palace when... Melora! Melora, you wretch! Oh, it's Tanya Manila. Melora's Aunt Tamanella showed up. She's the witch who turned me into a frog. You mean the one that wants to feed you to an ogre? Oh, there you are, child. Won't you walk with me to the palace? And with that, Melora picked up the basket and carried Robin off to the palace. So we all walked to the castle. Yep, yeah, that was a wee. I followed along because I figured maybe Robin could use some help. But I tried to stay hidden. And as we walked, that old witch Tamanella kept talking to Melora and waving around this funny round-headed cane she was carrying. What a pretty child you've become. Why, you look more like your old Aunt Tamanella every day. You are not my eel rant. Why, of course I'm not your real aunt. You're a wearable titch. Well, naturally I'm a terrible witch. I'll tell my daddy about you. You tell your daddy anything you want. He won't understand a word. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed, yours is one of the best evil enchantments I ever cast. <laughs> it must drive you crazy. <laughs> Ooh, he drives me daisy. Now, oh, see, a frog wouldn't do a rotten thing like that. I could only bake the hall in the candle of her brain. Bake the hall in the candle of her brain? I didn't understand that at all. Anyway, when we reached the palace and Tamanella had gone away, Melora let Robin out of the basket. Hello, Hoggy. Uh, hello, Melora. Uh, are we at the palace now? Uh-huh. Oh, well, uh, if we're at the palace and uh, and you're my friend now, uh, how would you like to kiss me? What? Uh, if you would kiss me, I'd turn into a handsome prince. Oh, you frilly old sog. Why am I silly? Well, a frog can't be a prince. Sure they can. I, I mean, I can. I, I bet you'd like me if I were a prince. I like you. I, I can even understand what you say. Kay, you sang. Sure I can. Why, I even understood the song you were singing by the well this morning. Really? You mean... So bow I'm meek and bow. So now you're big, and now you're grown, you're all together, all alone. That's wonderful! A 
Princess Melora leaned forward to kiss her little froggy friend. Never kiss a frog, Melora! Taminella came back. You'll get warts on your lips. Well, my, my. So you have a new little pet, Melora. What a sweet little frog. What a dear little frog. What a familiar little frog. Uh, Taminella. A friend of mine would just love to invite you to breakfast, Froggy. Aren't you delicious? I mean, uh, delightful. The witch poked Robin with her cane, and the glass ball in its handle magically turned black. I watched, hiding behind a suit of armor, and wondered if poor Robin wasn't going to be eaten by the ogre long before he was kissed by the princess. But just then, the Duke of Featherstone entered. Ah, what is it, Featherstone? The king wishes to see you in the throne room at once. Ah, well, well, of course. He wishes to speak with you about Melora's coronation this afternoon. Oh, that's nice. I want to speak to him about that, too. And the wicked witch waddled out. Robin was really worried. So when Princess Melora returned, he decided he'd better tell her to be careful. Well... Where did she go? She went to see the king. You know, Melora, you must be careful of her. She's a witch. She's a horrible hitch. And you know. Oh, but of course you would. I bet Caminella is the one who put you under your enchantment. Yes, so I wouldn't tell Taddy. Oh, so to keep you from telling your daddy that she's a witch, she enchanted you so that you would speak strangely. And that's why I streak spangely. Oh, what an awful witch she is. If I could only bake the hall in the candle of her brain. Pardon? To destroy Paminella's tower. To destroy Taminella's power. Bake the hall in the candle of her brain. Bake the hall in the candle of her brain? I don't understand that. Oh, kiss him carefully. Bake the hall in the... Alona Laura! I hope you haven't missed me. What? I believe it's time for luncheon to be served. Come, let's be off to the dining hall. Tess, yeah, Manila. Wait, uh, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Well, um... Please. Oh, where is Bell? Uh, uh, don't kiss him goodbye. Uh, I'll take him with you. <laughs> we'll set a place at the table for you, Froggy. <laughs> Must eat after all. Must fatten up those frog legs. <laughs> And off they went to the dining hall, where the king was already sitting down, starting to eat. The Princess Melora sat down next to him, and uh, Taminella sat on the other side and put uh, Robin down on the edge of the table. I hid over behind the mushroom gravy. My, what a lovely looking repast. I should say, pass the repast, Brother Stone. I'm hungry. Isn't it nice to have our dear little luncheon guest with us, Your Majesty? 
Uh, lunch and guest? What lunch and guest? Why, he's right here. My Laura's new pet. Why, look at that. It's a toad. <laughs> a toad? My Laura, my dear. I didn't know you liked ooky little hop toads. <laughs> he's a dog, Fatty. Uh, whatever you say, my Laura. But you know I can't understand you, my dear. My oh. Oh, I wish we knew who cast this terrible spell on you. Tant Aminella! Tant Aminella! That's all I'm kid. Why, she's pointing at you, sister dear. I guess she thinks you know who cast this terrible spell. Well, I haven't any idea. But I'll ask around. Well, I'm sure you'll find out, my dear. You are a wonder. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, how lucky it is that my dear sister is reunited with us at last, Melora. I just remember that wonderful day we found each other, walking in the forest. Whoop. I say, let's take care there. Uh, good grief, it's the king. Then who, may I ask, are you? Uh, me? Why, uh, I'm a beautiful maiden in distress. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, beautiful maiden. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. How's that? Uh, I said, actually, I'm your long-lost sister, uh, who was kidnapped from her cradle when we were both just babies. No! Absolutely! But I didn't know I ever had a sister. Huh. I'm afraid you'll have to prove it to me. Oh, well, kind, good King Rupert II. I should be glad to. What was the name of your father? King Rupert the First. So was mine. Sister! Brother! Oh. Oh. I'll never forget it. Yes, it was the most exciting day of my life. This afternoon you retire as king and we crown a new queen. So true. Oh, then. By the way, my Laura, uh, there's been a slight change of plans. Oh? Well, your father and I have discussed it, and uh, it seems to us that a queen who can't be understood is worse than no queen at all. You mean, I don't get to queen the bean? No, you don't get to be the queen. Oh, dear. I do. Oh, oh no. no. What a disaster. Yes, my loving sister has graciously offered to take the throne. It's a great sacrifice, but I'll try to be brave. Fatty, this is rotageous. Why, this wasty old nummin isn't even your seal wrister. You can't make a quit tweet. What is the girl saying? I know what she's saying. She's trying to say that Paminella is... Ah, popover, froggy. That witch just jammed a popover into my friend's mouth. Laddie, you've got to diss it. Sire, I must speak with you a lot. Ah, popover, froggy. She did it again. Paminella is a weevil itch. What did she say? She oh. said that Paminella is... Ah, weevil... popover, froggy. What did she say? That Paminella is a weenish fitch. Uh, what did she say? Oh, don't ask me to repeat it. Compliments make me blush. Oh! And with that, Melora ran from the room in tears. Why, I don't believe my little girl is happy. Well, uh, if you'll excuse me now, sire, uh, I'd better find a place to keep this little froggy. Can't have him hopping around loose. Oh, I should say not. For one thing, he eats all the popovers. Exactly. We'll find a lovely spot for him. Well, sir, a few minutes later, Caminella was walking through a terrible old cellar in the castle, and in her hand was an awful iron cage, and in the cage was my friend Robin. As for me, I was sneaking along behind. I wasn't very happy about it, but I was there. Pretty soon we came to a dungeon, and there was the ogre. Are you here, sweet ums? Mm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sweet ums here, nice lady. Well, hi there, sweet ums, you old cuddly bear. Oh. I've brought you something for your breakfast. Ho, oh, ho. Yummy, yummy. Cuddly bear hungry. Well, now that the eater and the E.T. have gotten together, I must be leaving. <laughs> The witch left as her ogre peered hungrily through the bars of the cage at Robin. Oh, 
yes, nice, nice, yummy, good. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, eat frog. But, uh, uh later. Later? Oh, oh, much later. Uh, for, uh, uh, for breakfast. Sweetums eat frog for breakfast. Right. Eat breakfast now. Oh, no, 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 uh, eat breakfast, uh, in the morning. Morning? After you, uh, uh sleep. Sleep. Uh, you like sleep? Sweetums like sleep. Oh, uh, good for you. Sweet Tums, lay your ugly head down upon your wretched bed. Close your eyes and go to sleep. Rest, you hulking heap. Sweet Tums is so sweet and cute. Go to sleep, you Stupid brute. Nighty night. Well, I hope he's not a light sleeper. Now, I've got to get out of this cage. Oh, what am I saying? To do that, I'd need a saw or a crowbar. Or a frog. Kermit! I thought you could use some help, so I followed along. I'll just open the door to your cage and let you out. Mm. There, you're free. Hooray, I'm free. It's always a pleasure to let a trapped frog go. Let frog go? Oh, boy. Not want to let frog go. Yeah, well, uh... Sweetums eat frog now! It's yummy, yummy time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Eat frog time. Get club. Now, where froggy go? Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I ah, got frog. No, you don't. Oh, there he is, that little frog. Where he go, that dumb old frog? Sweetums gonna hit and smash, turn old frog to froggy hash. Sweetums find that frog and mash. Holly Wally Froggy get mighty mash. What do we do now? I just keep moving and hope his aim is bad with that club. Oh, ho, ho, there he be. Gonna get it now. Sweetums, get that froggy now. Froggy will be Sweetums chow. Sweetums, get that frog and how. Holly Wally Froggy, get a mighty pow. about that? He missed us. Strange. He hit everything else. And that last falling wall hit him. He seems to be asleep. Shall we go? After you. Here we are in the dining hall again. Well, what do we do now? No problem. We have to destroy Taminella's power before the king makes her a queen. Yeah, but how? Oh, no problem. Melora told us how. Bake the hall in the candle of her brain. Well, what does that mean? Now that's a problem. I don't know. Well, you better think fast. Here's the door to the balcony, and the coronation is about to begin out there. You're kidding. Oh. Uh, there's the king and Melora and the witch who's about to be crowned queen. I tell you, Robin, this is too big a job for just two little frogs. You're right. I'm glad you agree. We need more frogs. Hmm? You go to the well and get the other frogs. I'll try to figure out what to do. Anything you say. After all, who can argue with a prince? <laughs> uh, 
the coronation is about to begin. Oh, I've got to think. What can bake the hall in the candle of her brain mean? Presenting your noble king, Rupert the Second, large chair. Welcome to the coronation. Spontaneous applause. As you know, this is my last day as your king. Expression of regret. Today, the crown should be passed on to my lovely daughter, Melora. Enthusiastic cheers! But since that is not possible... Expression of regret. We have for you a new queen. Enthusiastic cheers! My sister, Tamanella. Enthusiastic cheers! Terrible. He's about to crown our queen. Let me see. Uh, oh, bake the call and the candle world. of her brain Ruin could be. Uh, hate the call and the brandle of her bane. No, no. Raising oh, cake the, the brawl and the bandle of her hane. I have truly oh. enjoyed my years as a scheming despot. So it is with great sadness that I retire as your king. Speed it up, fella. Come on, let's get on with it. But it is with great happiness let's see. that I Break pass the brawl and the candle of her king. No, no. Noble. Honorable. Impatient. Beautiful sister of mine, Tamanella. You're sweet. Oh, I can't do it. And I've so got to stop the, the time has come. But how? It has been a great an army. burden. A herd of elephants. Or a frog. I Cut hereby... It. You're back. You Our declare yet. A whole bunch Tamanella, of frogs. queen of the realm. Come on, we'll stop the king. With one great froggy leap, all the frogs of the forest jumped onto the balcony and landed on top of the wicked witch. We hopped in her hair, bounced on her shoulders, and swung from her sleeves. Are these toads friends of yours, my dear? We tickled her ears and pinched her nose and kicked her shins and stepped on her toes. And Robin landed right on her hand, which was still holding that strange cane with the round glass top. It was then that the princess ran up and shouted, The king! The king! The candle of her hand! That's it. It's not bake the hole in the candle of her brain. It's break the ball in the handle of her cane. So with a mighty chop, Sir Robin the Brave bit the wicked witch squarely on the thumb. Tamanella dropped the cane with its glass ball and... My power! You've destroyed my power! And then a very strange thing happened. turned into a bird. Now, what'd my sister want to go and do that for? You see, Father, she never was your sister. She was an evil witch. But now her power is destroyed. Daughter, I can understand you. Yes, my spell is broken. My daughter's spell is broken. But yours isn't. She still has to kiss me. And now, I think we must give thanks to these lovely little frogs. In particular, thanks to my dear little friend who saved us from the evil witch. And with that, the Princess Melora reached down and picked up Robin the Frog and very gently kissed him. He, he turned into a prince. How about that? He really did. You mean he was really the toad prince all along? Yes, Melora. I really am Prince Robin the Brave, and you are the most beautiful princess in all the world. I don't understand any of this, but it seems to be ending well, so for happily ever after, I crown my daughter Queen Melora the First. Anthems of joy. Anthems of joy.
about the end of the story. Robin and Melora were married, of course. That was quite some time ago, but I still see them a lot. In fact, here they come now. Good afternoon, Prince Robin, Queen Melora. Afternoon, Kermit. How's the little one? Little Prince Kermit? Just fine. Now, that's what I call a happy ending. After all, it's not every frog that has a prince named after him. I'll see you. Thank <laughs> you.